Oh yeah, for sure, Bugs Bunny. And you know, coming up later, we're gonna show you how they get some of those sound effects and some of those classic uh, cartoons. What about you, Kristen? What was your favorite um, cartoon? Powerpuff Girls. See, this is the this is the change in generation, right? When we talk about, I, I like you know Scooby Doo and the Jetsons and stuff. But you know, it's a real chance for people to explore their inner artist, director, and storyteller as we take them behind the scenes of animation featuring Cartoon Network. So um, let's maybe talk about some of the great things that you have here. Well, we definitely have stuff from old Hanna Barbera cartoons or artifacts. Uh, so such as the lunchbox is really cool. <laughs> and really getting back to basics. I mean, no matter what kind of animation, uh, from the classic to what you see now, it really does start from some of these classic uh, items here. Yeah, definitely classical animation it uses cells. So you have stuff that is just Yogi Bear, and then that's layered onto different backgrounds. This way we have a full kind of concept of the animation. And people have a chance to really actually experience it themselves as well, because it's one thing to sort of see the finished product and to see, you know, these cells, but let's maybe show people how it actually happens. Yeah, so each frame is actually built up with a background. So they layer the background. On top, they put another cell having the character. And then they could add things like an arm, just like that. So it's a very interactive exhibition here at Science yes. World. Definitely. Ooh. This is very cool. Lots of things that we're going to try out here again at Science World. By the way, we have your chance to win four passes to animation featuring Cartoon Network. And all you have to do is email us, contest at btvancouver.ca, subject animation. And Jody, coming up next, we're going to show you some very cool types of animation that really uh, gets real personal uh, for us and really some sound effects, all the cool stuff that makes cartoons very, very special to us in our youth and as adults as well. Who knew that something simple like a little uh, aluminum baking sheet could make the sound of I guess thunder and lightning, right? Exactly. So what exactly is a Foley artist? So if you imagine taking live film, a lot of the sounds aren't captured in kind of the uh, film itself. So Foley artists have to use different household items to actually create those sound effects. So something like so this is what? This is cornstarch. You can put it in a pouch, and when you kind of squish on it, it sounds like walking on snow. And then something like this. Instead of using paper, you can use plastic to make that kind of crunching noise like paper does. And then I love this one. What is this? Can you guess what it is? Well, it's, it, it sounds like wings. So it so could be bat wings or birds flying. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I mean, we have a whole little um, container full of many, many things that uh, that people would have used. And would they still use them in, I mean, we know they used them in classic cartoons, but what about the more modern they ones? They still use it now, but then they also use a lot of computers to actually create the different sounds and make it a little bit better. So right here, we're actually going to be our own Foley artist. So we've got the paper. I'm supposed to scrum the paper, yeah. Yep. Like this? And then throw it in the garbage okay. can. And then what? I'm gonna tap the... And then press to make the buzz noise. Oh. <laughs> nope, we're on the <laughs> oh, side yeah. section. I'm not a very good... Another. I'm not a very good Foley artist. There's the buzzing fly. You know, it's so interactive. So many great things people can do uh, here oh. again, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not a very good Foley artist, but tell you what, take no, a look at this. Here's what it looks like. For more details, by the way, you can check it out at Science World. And also, we got your chance to win four passes to animation featuring Cartoon Network. Drop us an email, contest at btvancouver.ca. Subject animation. It's so cool. It's a behind the scenes of animation. So you really get a chance to be a director, a storyteller, an artist. And in this case, it was a very interactive thing, Kristen. Uh, we were doing pixelation. What is the difference between pixelation and stop motion animation? Uh, so stop motion is using inanimate objects where you take a picture of something, you move it slightly, and then take another picture. For pixelation, you're using live humans, and that they are taking the picture. We're taking the picture of them, and then we move them slightly and take another picture. And of course, here's just the finishing of the one that we just did. Of course, now it's on a, on a different one. But what actually creates the best results? Because, I mean, we did some pretty big movements. Uh, the best results, you'll be moving slower and moving at a very kind of small little movements. And there's Rob oh. Brownridge, who's working our camera today. Um, we've got Jason, I think, that's coming up next. And really, it's a chance for, for people themselves to be animated. Definitely, and then also to defy kind of the physics. <laughs> 
So moving one leg and always holding that up. And there's the one we just did as we were getting ready to go to break. Um, this really, this whole exhibit here at uh, Science World is such a great opportunity for both adults and kids, isn't it? Yeah, we normally see a lot of kids and even adults. They love it here. It's a lot of fun. They make their way into the various uh, different activities. Um, by the way, you can check out animation featuring Cartoon Network. It's on now through April 26th. We've also got your chance to win four passes. <laughs> <laughs> to this exhibit here at Science World. Drop us an email, contests at btvancouver.ca subject. Animation. Jody, I think Brady would have fun here. You know we have it booked. And you know, if you brought Brady here, Jody, it's highly likely that you won't be able to get him out of this, I guess, this visual effect called bullet time. Uh, we've been having a ton of fun here. First of all, the Matrix really was the first to use this technology, right? Yes, it made it really popular, especially during that movie where you see them kind of do that pose. Yeah, and they're basically, it's almost like they get just a ton of hang time. So let's, we're sort of in the area right now. Let's walk through how it actually works. So what happens is that there are 16 cameras all the way around as we push the button. Um, it does take that picture, so we have to make sure that we are timing it. Um, but for that to happen, the picture's taken at the same time, of the same pose, and then when you put it all together, it creates that kind of bullet time effect. So really, if you're up in the air, this is where it looks like you get that really great hang time. But even if you're standing still, so let's see if we can get the timing right here. Oh, God. As I, as I did totally destroy. No, I didn't actually destroy it, but I did kick the back of the wall. But mind you, that might actually make the best visual effect. <laughs> so we have a little bit of what we were doing earlier, and it is about timing. I mean, there were times where I definitely didn't look like I hit the mark no. and the timing at all. Um, a lot of kids, but also adults, would have fun doing this, right? Yes, because they always want to reenact. There's Rob, our camera fun. operator. Check that out. Check that out. He got the best hang time of all. <laughs> Ton of fun. Hard to get out of that little uh, area there. In fact, I'm going to make my way back and see if I can look a little bit more graceful than what I had been looking. Jody, by the way, we have your chance to win four passes to animation featuring Cartoon Network here at Science World. Even adding a little props, eh, Jody? Wouldn't Brady love this? He would. That is outstanding.